Hi, I'm Miriam Havard, and I am YouTube's biggest weight loss secret. Yes, I am. And I was a bit missing an accent for a while. I'll get into that. But first, let's get to business. Good morning. It is Monday, February the 22nd. Weigh in. Now, as of this recording, there's at least two, if not three weeks of weigh in that I have not shown you, and I apologize. I've done them, I've recorded them, I just didn't finish them up, and things were going on. And here we go. Oh, doggone it. Doggone it. Okay. Come on, Mary. Okay. Now. Whoa. 170.8 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to let that fade away and then I'm going to do that again. Oh my goodness. I'm getting closer and closer to my goal weight. What is my goal weight, darlings? My goal weight is basically 120 to maybe 140 pounds. So basically around 130 pounds would be my goal weight. And come on, babe. So I'm going to try this again. So I'm very close to it and um, I'm excited about that. Yeah, 170, wow, wow. Hi, how are you? Hey guys, how you doing? Um, yeah, I've actually recorded uh, each week's weigh-in, uh, but I got bogged down with things that were going on in my real life. Um, I, I do apologize for that, I will be uploading them, but I'm probably gonna upload this one today but I'm going to be uploading the other ones as well. Because um, I wanted to add commentary to them. That's what it is. But I'm really excited. 170. So I was like 268. As far as I know, my highest known weight. Because I lied to myself about it. Uh, to 170. So it's about 100. God, it's about 100 pounds. Yes. So, um... Yeah, I'm really pleased about that. Okay, so, you know, we're having some, some weather. I had been uh, at my sister's, and uh, there were some delivery of durable uh, medical supplies that were anticipated and happily received. Um, she was in really good spirits, and uh, also my brother, uh, one of my brothers, retired. So we were happy about that, and... Uh, just, you know, positive things. And then, of course, uh, there was the snow and everything. And so I decided to come back before the second round of snow came. So I'm back home. And, uh, yeah. And uh, I've been thinking about changing the focus of my channel. I'm going to... I'm moving away from the girls. Uh, my hand. I'm moving away from the girls because I don't find it uplifting at all. I find it pulls, it pulls people down. And I think that people especially in these times, but even in a better time, I think we should leave people in better shape, in better condition than we find them. And I think that when you're around people that don't care about themselves and destroy themselves, they're not capable of caring about you because they don't care about themselves. And it starts to affect you. And I, it was actually starting to negatively affect me. I don't want any part of, of, of uh, misanthropy. Uh, I don't like being around energy where people just hate their fellow human beings. And there's a number of ways that a person conducts themselves that says, I hate my fellow man. I hate myself. I have contempt for myself, but I'm going to, you know, wave my backside, sometimes figuratively, other times literally, against other people because that's just what a disrespectful person that I am. Now, this is not talking about any one specific person. This is covering everybody that is just gross and disrespectful and I find in my real life as well as in like um, YouTube I just have no interest in people who don't even have the basic respect for themselves I am coming from a place where I, I had to deal with a lot of uh, trauma yeah a lot of uh, physical and psychological trauma and financial trauma I mean I was homeless okay so I need to co concentrate on my progressive recovering from such trauma and get my own business in order instead of being distracted 
by the train wreck. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm changing the content of my channel, uh, but not losing the focus on health and weight loss because it's going to be weight loss and then it's going to be maintaining a healthy weight and a healthy lifestyle, clearly. And, and other things too, though. People affect other people. And if you're having a negative effect on me, you got to go. And that's in real life and in YouTube life. And there are people who are on YouTube. Some of them are really like rich YouTubers. I'm not talking about people who just are making a, a upper middle class or middle class amount of income just from YouTube. I'm talking about people that are rich, famous YouTubers. And they're kind of gross. Some of them are not just kind of gross. They're gross. But they're making a fortune off of being gross. And I, I don't support that. I mean, I'm not going to hate them for their money. That, that's not something I have control over. I have to deal with my bread or relative lack thereof, depending on the circumstances. But uh, yeah, I'm interested in people who have positive energy. I don't want negative energy in my life. I don't. I am, this is my 59th year. I can't believe I live to be 59. But that's where I'm at now, and I'm really kind of excited about that, you know? And I'm, gonna, I'm here to tell you people, life is short, and you cannot get time back that you invest in people that don't care about you. There are people on YouTube and in real life who absolutely do not give a flying fart doodle about you. They don't care about you. So to get all this energy into these people that don't care about you is illogical. Now, there are a lot of commenters that have come forward that I really, really love. Uh, in the early days, it would be Zachary. Uh, Charlie Gold came on and people would just like, oh, she's like Oprah. You know, and then she took her channel slightly different, you know. But, um, and, and there's uh, uh, Michael B. Petty, uh, who I think is brilliant. I don't care for the cussing, but that's his channel, his choice. And he, there are other channels that cuss a lot, like uh, Mass Mott. I think Mass Mott is a comedic genius. Again, the language for me is more of an issue. I would never complain to YouTube about it because they have the, the legal right to do that. It's not against two uh, terms of services. So if you notice that a channel, even though you like the channel, they use language that you don't particularly care for, you have the choice to either not listen or listen. Right? But I think Maskmont is a genius. Um, I think uh, Michael Petty is brilliant. Uh, there are other YouTubers. I love uh, Who Is She is back. And various, I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that have been doing commentary. Uh, Lindsay with an A. Uh, Kidney Jerk, whom I, I really love, and she concentrates mostly about her particular health issues about her kidneys. And if she's a small YouTuber, check her out. Uh, there are lovely, lovely YouTubers. And all of you guys, even the ones that I didn't mention, but I follow you. Oh, Kaya Simmons. I love Kaya Simmons. Again, brilliant, down-to-earth person. All of you guys came to the forefront, not simply because you were talking about some women that had uh, a lot of disorder in their lives as regards to their eating. You came to the forefront because you're brilliant. You're brilliant and you have personality. Um, Robin the Explorer. Um, hopefully he will come back and just stay away from the former topic. He's brilliant and uh, we enjoyed his company. You know what I mean? Then you got Roger Brown. <laughs> who uh, he's, he's brilliant too. He's, uh, I think the word would be eccentric. But he's a brilliant man. Do I always agree with anything or no? Do I always agree with everything? Some of the YouTubers say and do, no, because who can you always agree with? We sometimes disagree with ourselves and we change our stance on things, right? But I think these people are all brilliant and we would appreciate their thoughts and their viewpoints regardless of the train wreck type of people that have been covered by them. That's what I'm saying. So, and I'm not saying that I'm not going to look at some of these channels, even if they want to talk about those people. I'm just saying that I want to have more elevated content. I want to focus on people who are, who are more positive. When people do absolutely nothing 
to better their situation. And they actually treat people like they're wrong when they try to help them. When science and medicine tells you one thing, and there are people who are progressively damaging themselves because they've decided that science and medicine are illegitimate, really, what can you do? What can you do, right? So uh, time to move on to other stuff. I've got to do some cleaning and order, organizing in my apartment. That should be fun. And other things, I'm going to have, like I said, different uh, contact. I'm going to have contact content. I'm going to be unboxing a lot of stuff. And uh, we're, we're going to be moving in a more positive direction. I hope it's uplifting. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you come. And oh yeah, please don't keep me such a secret because I am YouTube's biggest weight loss secret. I don't have to be. You can be part of helping that out. So if you like anything about my channel, about this video, put a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, put a thumbs down. That's that's your choice. It's not against terms of service to give me a thumbs down if that's what you want. Uh, please share if you think people can benefit from this and uh, leave a comment or an emoji and do come again. Looking forward to seeing you. Yep. Mimi's back. Love you. Bye.